Something that can make you do wrong, make you do right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just chilling, listening to this song for a second. Then we'll get into this. on me and tried to get me arrested. Guys yelling and cussing at me. Fun times in Texas. That's what Idler is doing now. Even without the Idler, they're trying to make you pay for parking and nobody would expect it, right? Some guy comes up in a tired old Idler shirt bangs on the side of my truck. Bam, 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 bam. I'm like, what's going on here? I'm sleeping in the back. I get up. Man, just sing it for a second. Man. Just sing it. Lord, That's what we need in this world is a little more love and happiness. Less of all the bullshit trying to run truckers off and run them down. I've tried to lift up people and give a good view of trucking, but I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm looking at it sideways myself right now. This song's got three more minutes in it. I'm gonna play it out. I'll tell y'all what all's going on. I'll show you the video of it. Then I'm gonna put that shit on Twitter and send it right to Idler. And Pilot wanted to see it. Another pilot wanted to know what's going on. And the people there at that pilot was mad to giving Pilot a bad name or Flying J or whatever they wanna be. And I thought it was Pilot Property. So, they got security going cross borders to another place to harass drivers at the idle area. It's crazy. It's all muddy. Nobody knows who owns what. I know the view's a mess. I just put the thing up here. I'm gonna drop it like this. Oh, I missed your comment. It just came through Zai. XI Transport. So it's 1011 Transport or Zai Transport, either way. That looked like Baytown, Texas. They're doing the same thing there probably, but that was actually Dallas, Texas. So, yeah. Wait a minute. Scan out of Oh, I did I not put scam? Man. Uh, or maybe you typed it wrong. Yeah, I don't even know what I typed, man. I could be wrong, you could be wrong. It's probably probably on your end either way. It's all good, man. I'll talk about it in a sec. I'll, I'll get into the rest of it. Some dude comes up in a shirt that he look it looks like he stole it. Look. Let me 
I'm going to pause this for a second. Check this out. If somebody come up with a hat on, okay, that said police, okay, and their hat said, oh, thank you for the like. If, if somebody come up with a hat that said police on it, right, but they're wearing cut off jogging pants of some sort or running pants with a scissors now that are too long, right? They, they honestly have no socks on, wearing some high tops half laced and stains all over a shirt. Are you going to believe that police hat? So here's my question to anybody. I pose this to anybody out there. If you seen that picture of that dude right there that I put on that screen and he come up, bang, 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 bang on your door and you're sleeping, you wake up, you didn't think it was any kind of, yeah, that's what I said. Any, I swear to you people, when I drove in that place, it was dark. There was two trucks here and then I pulled in in between and nosed in. When you're nosed in, it's not safe and you know it and you're a little worried, but it's out of there. So you're like, you got to nose in, right? I never knows in, but I, you know in. I don't care. There's nothing hanging down because the place is tired and wore out and it ain't got no more. It, it's no more out of there. As far as I know, even the ones that are way down there that's still hanging, they're all hanging and nobody's hooked up to them. You either pay for the out of there services or you would park there. That's how it worked. Everybody knows that. You don't pay to park. That's part of the truck stop. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, this is new, people. I'm telling you what's true. I'm telling you they called the police on me. Now, I wasn't arguing the fact that I was ready to leave, but when they're talking to me, I'm like, wait a second, whoa, whoa, here's what I'm trying to figure out. Who's this guy dressed like a bum coming beating on my truck? I didn't notice his, his, his shirt had said out of there. When you saw this video, did you notice that that pink shirt said out of there on it? I didn't. Here's what I saw. I saw a bunch of stains there. His hands was across the out of there part on his chest, right? And he says, you pay me now. I swear to God, he's from a different country, and that's exactly what he says. You pay me now. Dude, I'm thinking I'm getting robbed. People, I thought I was getting robbed. I said, oh, okay, I said, can you hang on just a second? Hang on a second. I had, my, I had my window halfway down. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second because it ain't even about a card. It's about parking. It's not even about hooking up. It's parking itself, and they want cash. Now, check this out. Check this out. So, I roll my window back up. And hopped in the back because I didn't even have a shirt on, man. I put my shirt on, and then I'm grabbing like a stick and whatever else I got. And I'm, you know, you thinking you fix to get robbed? You, 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 you're getting armed is what you're getting. Okay. All right. Yeah. Morning. So, good morning, anonymous. Here's what we got. I, uh, I put my shirt on. I get where I think I can defend myself, and. Before I can even finish getting my shirt on, I hear an, a, a lighter. Toon, 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 toon. I'm like, I told you just a second, man. I'm, I'm like, you know, golly, right? So, so I get up from the bunk, and, and I mean, I was already sit, I sat down for a second, was trying to put some shoes on, even even with no socks myself. And I'm trying, I always wear socks. I didn't have time for that. Some dude's outside my truck. I don't know what he's doing, but he's wanting to rob me. I think, right? Fine. So I put my shirt on. And I heard that, that second, the first one was bang, 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 bang. And I opened up the window and all that. And he said, you pay me now. Okay, fine. I'm thinking I'm getting robbed. Put on my shirt, threw on my shoes. Ding, 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 ding. A lighter knock. I'm like, lighter knock? But, but in my head, I'm thinking, well, that's a little bit nicer. But I'm like, I told you, uh, it'd be just a second. Uh, hang on a second. Or I don't know exactly what I said. It's, it's on a different video. I hit the video because at that point, I'm like, I'm videoing this, man. If something's going down. I'm videoing it. So I hit video. I go to the window. It's a different guy. I said, hey, well, where's the other guy at? He says, oh, he's up there. I said, well, who are you? He's, I'm with you. I said, what do you mean you're with me? He's leased to the same company I'm leased to. He's like, hey, listen, they just kicked five of us out. This is BS, and check this out, dude. Uh, we're leaving. You should leave, too. I'm like, yeah, what is going on? I said, wait a second. I says, this is I, I said a few expletives to this guy. I didn't say it to the first guy, but I was this is bullshit. This is this guy's not legit. Something's not wrong right with this. This is a scam. Just because he has on uh or ha has in his hand some kind of a phone or something, I didn't see the out of their shirt. Okay, people. I didn't see all I saw was it has stains all over the bottom of it. He had shoes with no shocks that's 
uh, late, half late, most of the way laced up with their high tops. And his shirt was nasty at the bottom of it. it looked like he drug it through the mud or something. You, it don't show that well. I've got a whole video on it. It's like almost an HD. So check this out. So I says, where's that guy at? He says, he says, uh, he's up there. I said, oh, okay. I says, this, something ain't right. I says, there's no pipes hanging down here. There's no pipes hanging down here. This, I don't even know if this parking is pilot or what. I said, he can't charge for parking. It don't say reserved. He says, yeah, no, no, you're right. Yeah, no. He says, it don't say, that's how he said it. He says, it don't say it reserved. I says, hold on, I'm going to find out what's going on about this. Why? Because I can't stand for a scammer to be on the parking lot at the truck stop and get the next guy. So I'm thinking, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to find out what this is about. I'm going to call the police. That's what I thought in my head. When this guy comes back, if he comes back, I figured he'd run off. I was about to call the police. So I asked that dude. I said, hey, man. I says, I'm sitting here videotaping. I didn't even mean to get you on a videotape. I says, I thought I was going to videotape that guy. I says, okay. I says, check this out. Can I use your phone? He said, yeah. He says, uh, he says I'm going to... Uh, and he got off the phone with his woman. Hands, I, he dialed the phone number to the pilot or Flying J, whichever one it is, and hands me the phone. I'm like, thank you, because I left my camera on, and then I set it down up on the dash, and it went off. Fine. So I'm sitting there on the phone. Up comes one security guard that's from a different country but he's got like a vest on and it looks kind of legit kind of at this point i'm suspect of everybody but i'm like okay th this is good at least there's security here because i'm thinking i'm getting robbed that dude's here it's all good i gotta plug his phone up all right so let me plug this up so anyways so he comes up in the vest okay he's like got this kind of a nigerian accent is what i could tell you know something like that Nice guy, though. He was a nice guy, okay? But uh, then there's another guy that's kind of bigger guy, and he just has a T-shirt with a sewn-on badge, some kind of board. I'm like, well, okay, he might be a security guard, too. I don't know. They, they're both in tandem. They seem to be happy together. Cool. They walk over here, but it's like then there's a driver over there also that's from a different company trying to act like I'm a problem because I layer dude over here has done told him, Hey, I got a driver won't move or something. I'm like, no, no, no. I thought he won't. I didn't know who this guy was. Okay, fine. So there's a driver that wants to call my company and winds up calling my company and complaining, talking, telling them, hey, no, I'll show you how to do it. We'll get him fired. What? What? So that's the mentality now of drivers. And I'm not bringing up no other names. I'm, that's some BS too. That's okay. That's how he is. That I ain't worried about it. They when they called me, I, I got three phone calls in like two minutes. I told them what's going on. They're like, just leave. I'm like, no, I'm waiting on the police. They're like, no, well, you know, if if it, I sat there, they called the police back and canceled it. But here's what happened. Then the security guys wound up calling the police on me. So here's the thing. They're trying to put me in jail. Okay, they, I'm I'm gonna be in like Flynn. They trying to make me catch a charge for this shit. Fine. So here's what's going on. So the guy from Adelaide had done went over there and told another driver that there was a driver over here that was a problem. And that driver comes over and thinks he's going to call my company and give me some, well, I'm leased, whatever. I could leave. Look, I'll take the name off the side. It ain't bother me none. I'll go to another company if they're going to be like that. But they're not like that. The thing is, though, it was BS. He said I was being disrespectful. So I, mean, I ain't being disrespectful to nobody. Not at all. I wanted to know what was going on. When I pulled in there that night, I saw no signs that said anything about parking. Now, when I did pull out, I saw one way over here on the side of this truck. It was covered up. There was no pipes hanging down from the idle air station until way over here. I'm parked in like the first three or so, right? I had nosed in in between two trailers. No idle air hanging. It's pilot's property as far as I know. But but here's the thing. Uh, pilot security is supposed to be on this side. There's a bossman's there. They're not supposed to be paying security to come down there and have some of you anyways. And when I talked to Pilot, they're like, yeah, he, he wasn't supposed to be there, but they're running the whole deal. Some ain't right with the security. Some ain't right with Adelaide dude looking like he's a maybe a homeless person that done stole the Adelaide shirt. But I didn't even see the logo. But it's all nasty on it. And he ripped the sleeves off of it. It's got no sleeves. So he ripped the sleeves off of it. The neck's all pulled down. And it looks like, like I said, like he was just a homeless guy. I thought it was, uh, he's, you pay me now. After beating on my truck, I'm thinking I'm getting robbed. Fine, so we go forward from here. Guy goes up there, gets another driver in on this. So there's two security guards, a driver, Idler dude, and other driver that I talked to, but he's like, hey man, it's, it's cool, but I'm gonna split, because he didn't want to part of it. I'm like, hey, I got you, bro. No worries. Okay, till they start getting heated. I'm gonna show you the video. 
I took a video of the video, so it's not as clear, so that you can see Big Head Dude is what I'm gonna call him. Okay, none against him, but yeah, he's got he's got some man. So I might as well just show you the video. I might as well just show that, and then look, y'all. I am y'all know me. I'm cool as a cucumber on Christmas morning, like cold outside, cold. Look, I ain't trying to be the hardest guy on the block. I ain't trying to cause trouble. I don't. But I'm going to show you so you understand if you pull into an idle air, even if the pipes ain't down, and they try to hit you for money, and it's some dude that don't look like he's legit, either way, believe it or not, you wouldn't give money to that person in that picture I just showed you. You probably didn't even notice that he had idle air on his shirt. I didn't, and he had his arm crossed. But in that picture, I made sure in part of the video I took the picture from that he had his arms out, and you saw the shirt. But I guarantee you didn't read that shirt. Would you give money is the question. Would you give money to that man if he banged on your truck and said, you give me money now? I was like, hold up, whoa, whoa. Uh, just a second, right? Yeah, just a second while I hit my camera, while I get armed, while I, you know what I'm saying? That's what was going on. And then I threw on a shirt and threw some shoes on with no socks and was like, you know, so here we go. Okay, you're not ready for this. I'm gonna tell you there's some explicit language in this. There's some explicit language in the other one too. I'm just gonna show you this one, best as I can. I took a video of a video, and um, the better version of it will be up in full. Then uh, I'm sending this to Idle Air. So Idle Air, now that you're listening, because it's gonna be up on Twitter, um, this is what you got down there. This is your people. You got this going on, and I and I appreciate the way they didn't treat me right. Okay. Wait, wait. Listen carefully when he just said that. He just said, I don't own this part. Okay? I, I mean, sorry. I'm sorry. He said, pilot don't own this part. When you come in through the pilot, it's the whole same parking lot. And then when it, there's a Bosselman's down there, so you'd think maybe Bosselman's has something to do with it. There's no out of hanging, so they can't charge you for that, right? But they're charging for parking anyways across the whole board. It's not about idle air anymore. It's idle parking. So... They got security, though, that's supposed to just be on the one side coming over to them. I hope this audio is not too bassy or too loud. Let me see here. Let's see. Bass is... Let me set this on regular. I'm going to run it to the front. Set the treble negative two. I'll put it all on front. I think you could be able to hear this. So, what I got, like I said, is a video of video. I'm trying to get it to not turn sideways because I took the video sideways. I was so messed up on this stuff. Let me see if I can get y'all straight. I'm going to get y'all straight on this so it won't change up. So that maybe you can see without the change up. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be about as clear as, this can, as it can get if I do it like this. I know it's blurry on the screen, but it's because it's a video of video. Here we go. That's not even the pause button I should be hitting, is it? Here we go. Here's the play. Get ready for it. Here it come. Let me turn this up. Wait, 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 wait. Some idle air is closed. You have no pipes coming down through here. It does not matter. You're on my property. Get off my property. Okay, you own this. You That's own the this. guy. Yes, no, he don't fucking own it. He worked for fucking idle air. Okay. This is guy. He's doing his fucking job. Quit acting ignorant and either pay or get the fuck off. Sir, who do I pay? He's there. Him. He's out of there? Yes. With you that, that, why do you think he's I'll tell you because he's got a shirt. Say fucking out of there. Yeah, and listen, listen. You just playing dumb, man. You just don't want to move. No, you got a tired shirt on that dude. I can leave, yes, but this is not right. Now, this dude right here, because I paused it on this. This dude is what I was presented with, but I did not see that. But he's got no sleeves, right? And I didn't hit pause on this. That's my finger Wait. whenever I was pausing it. I want y'all to see no sleeves. He ripped them off. He's got some cut off pants. For real, he looked like, with them pants, for real, he looked like he had just, like, like he was homeless and just stole a shirt. I don't even know what to say. Like, just found it or something. It looked like it was drugged through the mud. See his, see his cut off shorts? You, you see what I'm saying? 
Turn the volume down. I'm sorry about that. Sure. Let's see here. Are y'all with me on this? Would you pay that man? If he come up and beat on your truck and said, give me, you pay me now. I'm like, well, dude, what are you talking about? I didn't even know there was paid parking. I didn't even know that there was anything about anything. And I was going to call the police thinking that it was some dude. Look at, look at the shoes. Uh, no socks, high tops, half laced or what. And I thought it was some buddy running a scam. Like if he put a hat on and said, I'm the police and I'm going to take your car or something weird, right? You hear about them all the time with fake cop cars. In every town, there's somebody with some kind of thing. And I even told them that in part of the video. Now, that video is on the phone that I'm using right now for live. Right? Would you give this dude with that dirty ass shirt? You can't see it from here. Oh, Lord, people, if you could see all them stains. I mean, he got stains like he was eating some barbecue and Kool-Aid and who knows what, man. That, like he went to town on some, like it was the day after, maybe the day after Thanksgiving or something. So, yeah, anybody can make it. And I'm sorry. I apologize. I've missed every freaking comment ever. We're going to go into some good feeling music for a second. And, and we'll talk. So, I want y'all to see that. I'm putting this out there. Um, and we need a little more love and happiness. I, I, that's that's how this is going. So, uh, you know, this this ought to work out good. Hold on a second. I'm going to get to you people. I'm going to get to you. And if, look, I, I don't even know, man. Give me a second, people. Like I said, I'm, I'm upset even thinking about what is all the deal. They called the police on me. They were going to put me in jail. They were talking about it. I'm like, what are y'all talking about? So hold tight. I'm going to get this to this here. Minus two. Man, They like I said, they're trying to get me to catch a charge. Get me, to, And I wasn't going to get out of the truck. If I'd have got out of the truck, man, it'd have been bad. So hold tight. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this audio right. Bass. Triple, right, rear. There we go. Oh, man, I, I, I didn't even want to go through that. The last comment, mowing hoes, and I know you're from the other channel, dude. It's cool. Dallas, Texas. Okay, so hold tight. Let, let me let me come on down. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't miss like every comment ever, and I appreciate the comments. I just had to get through that, so now I can read them. Man, turn this down for a sec. Look. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, misspelled. Let's see, bomb you. Hell no. Yeah, I'm with you on the hell no horse fly. Thank you for the sentiment. Let's see, and I'm going down from there on the comments. Let's see. I pay, I got a idle air card. It's 10 without using idle air. Uh, this is different. I think it was like 25. I'm not sure, but the guy wanted, it, it's just messed up. Okay. And the first thing they want to do is call security on you, like you're a criminal. And I'm like, no, I'm thinking I'm getting robbed. Y'all got to explain what that dude thinks he is with the shirt and, you know. Okay. So that's the new Idle Air uniform, in case you don't recognize it. So ahead of time, people, if you go to Idle Air, you see some dude like that, he may or may not be wanting to rob you. He might actually work there. You never know. So check this out. Let's see. It's JDL. Oh, I know it. We're on your channel. I saw, I saw from the picture. That's cool. Wow. Scams everywhere. Good call. Ask for ID if any employee approaches you like that. Yeah, and he didn't want me to go to the office. He wanted me to hand him cash. That ain't even right. So let's see. People are like that everywhere. Hence my name change. I'm going to stream soon. Cool. Yeah, do it, man. Worst sounding I ever heard you. Yeah, I. that's where I'm at. You did good and have a right to be upset. Well, man, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to chill. It's a situation where oh man certain places you can't even have a cigar it's all kinds of craziness in my world right now so i'm just doing my best i'm gonna have some water i ain't worried about no coffee let's see i'd tell him whoa kenyan not so fast this is america well I, man look it's like this i tried to tell them all whoa but i was outnumbered and at some point i had to tell them whoa there's too many people talking y'all need to chill and and i went and asked him a question i said 
can I ask you a question? He said, no. You should see the rest of the video, the whole deal. I'll put it out. Let's see, not the Olympics. It sounded okay, run it. Um, wow. Man, I'm with you, dude. Looks non-official. See, that's what I'm saying. And you were simply skeptical. That ain't crazy. Yeah, no, I'm not crazy. I, you know, well, well, maybe I am crazy. But maybe you're crazy, too. Maybe we all have to be crazy just to drive a truck. And then now you see how they treat us. So if you're wondering, they want to act like there's, you know, needing more truckers. How about don't treat us like shit? You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. And so Idolair is doing that. I will not support them. I done put something up on Twitter. I'm going to send them this video when I'm done. Hell no. Yeah. Let's see. Other than how they flip their shit. And I showed this. I showed the original video that's on this device to a pilot that was east of there. And the woman freaked out. She wants a copy of it. She She's like, I'm not believing this. And she's like, they're giving us a bad name. And I told her, I, I just hand it to her. Just You just watch that and you form your own opinion. I don't even want an opinion, but you just form your own opinion. Gave me the number to corporate, all this stuff. She's a little older lady that runs a store. Nice. Just wholly was apologizing. I said, don't you dare apologize for them people. You didn't do that. Don't you dare spill somebody's or clean up somebody else's spilt milk. That ain't right. I don't believe in that. You know, so I said, but I appreciate your sentiment for saying you're sorry, but don't you even worry about it. So other than how they flipped their shit. Yeah, they did. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can make a shirt nowadays. I thought they just, he just took a shirt from way back and decided I'm going to walk around this lot. This would be great. I'll charge drivers even though nobody pays for, it's not normal to pay for parking. At an old, tired-ass idle air that ain't got no more idle air. No one has ever, in the history of man and trucking, had to pay for idle air. The idle air has to pay for the right to be on that property in the first place. And if they're not supplying air conditioning, you're not paying for nothing. You, you park for free, but you hook up to the thing and you pay for that. Never have they charged for that. It's a new scam that they're running. And, and, and then the dude there looks like a for-real scam. Now, look here. Uh, true that horse fly um, from Monho's and then uh, let's see no problem take your time yeah calm down tiger yeah man get you a stogie I can't because <laughs> where I'm at let's see where was this uh, and I told you that let's see <clears throat> JW big city uh, Bobby Road let's see man they got attitude issues that acted like a cop being filmed and I never filmed cops but man this was a bad situation and those are security guards, and they weren't being right. And I wanted to get that guy on, on film, not those two guys. I wanted to get the dude in the pink shirt on film, and it says Idolair on him, because I didn't know who he was. I'm like, no, bring him back. Bring Now that y'all are here, if y'all are even whatever. And I'm like, hey, call the cops. And dude's talking about calling my company. I'm like, call them. Call everybody. It ain't going to bother me. No, you think I'm going to worry about that? Look, I was looking for a job when I signed up to lease to them. I can take this truck to another company. I could go and and get two other trucks if I want to. It, it's not about that. It's about principle and them being right. You're not going to talk down to me and treat me bad. I'm not a dog. I'm a man. A man will say, wait a second, you're going to talk to me with some kind of, not respect, even if you got no respect for me, but don't treat me like an animal. Don't push on me because that's not good. You know, that ain't going to get you the results you want. So, no, they were mad because I was like trying to figure things out. So that's crazy. I see. I, I'm from Kentucky, man. You don't <clears throat> get BS like that. You get hit in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, you know, you Louisville, Cincinnati. <clears throat> till you hit. Oh, till you hit Louisville, Cincinnati. Yeah, you know what? Like I said though, I want people to understand because this is new to me. I've been doing this 26 years, man. 25, 26. But look. I'm going to tell you, I've never seen where you had to pay to park at a idle air that don't even have idle air. It should be park air because all you get is air. You got oxygen air. They need to name it oxygen air. They need to change the name of the idle air to oxygen air. They got they got no kind of idle anything. You have to idle or you ain't going to have no air. That's what that place is. That's what that place is. And then, like I said, they got the parking Nazis. That's what I call them. Anytime you got somebody that's going to come and make you move, that's a parking Nazi. They're control freaks over whatever. And then here's the thing. I got another video of them when I moved up to the other side up on the pilot. 
and backed into a reserve parking. But I was like, should I go in and get a shower? No, I need to wash my stuff. Sure enough, what'd they do? They move around the back side. They decided on purpose to come over here and we, oh, we're going to make it look like we check in these trucks first, but we're going to get to him. No, I pulled out of there before they even come up on me. So it wouldn't be another altercation where it'd be somewhere in that place where they are actually supposed to be up in, on the pilot side instead of down where they were trying to give me three kinds of up the river and send me up the river. They wanted, man, they put me in 11 worth. No, they wanted to put me in 12 or 13 in worth. Hell, they, they wanted me being like Flynn under the jail. That's what they wanted. And that's what they were working on. They called the police. So I'm pretty sure they called them back when they saw that I was like, look, I, I left or whatever, but I didn't. I was waiting on it. If the police was called, I'm gonna be on the property. Like, hey, come on and let's talk about, let's, let's hash this out, you know? So if you go to Idle Air, even if there's no pipes hanging, they're running a racket now where they're going to start charging because I guess maybe they're having to pay for their equipment to be there that's no good and they're trying to make their money back or recoup it or whatever they're trying to do. It's a sinking ship anyways. Idle Air was started under the premise that they were going to make a profit. What happened was they were government uh, subsidized and they never made a profit. And they're not happy about it. Because what? Because it was a bad idea. It's like Solyndra. You could get cheaper solar panels from China. So Solyndra went under, even though it was government subsidized. Idle air. You can do better than having to pay for that mess because it's just as cheap to idle, not have to pull in, not worry about somebody next to you hitting that hose and busting your passenger side window. And you got to buy the template. Now I've got the template for my other truck. Okay. For one of my other trucks, the 96. I've got the template still. You hook it up. And you do that. Look, uh, if any of them work anymore, they just announced, even on their Twitter the page, they put, we lost Tennessee, we lost something else. We lost. They are sinking, <coughs> and they're grabbing at straws. And dude with that tired shirt probably owns one shirt that says that. They probably won't give him six or seven, but I think you should have, look, for real, I'm just saying the whole situation is a mess it's not normal and expected if you go to an idle air somebody might beat on your door talking about you're supposed to pay to park here even if it looks like a ghost land because they're still trying to they decided to put in somebody to steal money, people's money or what let's see here <clears throat> i got some comments here i'm sorry um they were not acting right very irritate yeah you did right trying to figure out what was what yeah because if there's a scammer on a lot man i'm going to call the police and say hey there's this dude he's got a uh, some kind of a thing where he bangs on doors and asks for money you know and and whatever well i didn't even recognize that he had an idle air shirt i was too busy trying to look at what his face looked like so i could identify him and tell an officer about it if he come by you know what i'm saying and then but his arms was over his shirt he had he was covered it up you couldn't even see the idle air part matter of fact when he walked over in the video if you rewind it, he had his hands covering up that part of his shirt, even when he walked over until the last minute, and then it opens up. It says, little idle air in white on that pink shirt with all the nasty stains on the bottom half. <clears throat> Looked like he was washing dishes and just nasty it up. I don't know what to call it. Like he was in a restaurant. Let me let me see this, though. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay, hold on. JD, you said explain what idle air is exactly. Okay, there's these hoses that come down from an air conditioning unit that's mounted up above you there is a uh, metal um z-bar kind of a deal going across okay between here's a pole here's a pole and across to the top of your truck there's a, a z-bar it's like <clears throat> a scaffolding and then every so often there's an air conditioner and each thing has an independent air conditioning unit up there but a hose that blows the air through it comes down over and and where it really just hangs down in this big knob thing and that plugs into a plastic thing in your passenger side window then you open up the door that'll let the air come flowing through once you punch in numbers to it and it also had it had but then they lost it or something tv telephone internet and you could plug in a wire to the internet or you could use their keyboard and just use that thing as a screen that opens up like this so that would get you tv that you could watch uh, and telephone and internet and you pay something like, I think it's like, maybe it's 
I think the cards were like $25 to charge them. Maybe it cost you how much an hour, and they figured it was the same price as diesel, but you're not idling your truck. Some companies bought into it, some didn't. Some companies still have it on their property. They're the ones that's still in business and whatever. Idler is still ripping people at the other places by making them pay when they're in them parking spots, but uh, a lot of people see that they're, a lot of the places are closed up and don't use them anymore, so they park there for free, or <clears throat> they'll pull in after the dude's done left and park there for free, but uh, I didn't know because there was nothing hanging down. I thought it was closed up. There's a Bosselman shop there. It's owned by Pilot. It wasn't reserved parking. The other guy agreed with me. And it wasn't um, its way out of the way. I didn't see any signs till I left out. Way over here on the other side of a truck, it said something about pay parking. So, what Idler is now, they're running like a Gestapo kind of a, <clears throat> I don't know what you call it. Let me go through these comments real quick. JJS is charging now off 30, I-30, exit 106, Old Military Road in Bryant, Kansas. Yeah, they're, they're playing. I understand. I mean, you see it at the TA and you know what to do, but let's see. You get a picture of no unit where your truck was. You know, as a matter of fact, at the end of a video, for like a half of a split second, I said, let me show you this place right here. And evidently I hit off. But it did get a glimpse of <clears throat> one that was, I think, a couple of trucks down hanging down, but it wasn't it wasn't for my truck. Like there was nothing hanging next to my truck. See, that's the problem with these things too, is if it's hanging down next to your truck and plugs into your window, somebody backs up because you're backing. Somebody backs up. They always back in their mirror into it or their truck into it or trailer into it. Or if they backed in and wasn't using it, they'll hit that hose and it'll bust your passenger side window out. That's the problem. That's the drawback. Um, let's see. I got a couple more comments here. Let's see. Let's see. Just a second is enough. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But it doesn't matter. Just the, it's it, their attitude and them calling the police and all that mess. That that's what's up. That's what's up. So, dude needs a uniform. I'm not going back there again. I don't care what he wears. He could run around naked for all I care. He could run around naked and take people's money and beat on the side of the truck. It ain't going to affect me at all. However they want to run their business, however they're going to run their business. All I know is I'm putting up what happened, and they could eat it for real. Uh, they won't get another dime of my money. I'll, I'll sweat before I pay for an idle air hooked up my truck. Like I said, I, man, they done rubbed me way the wrong way, and they know it. And, and let the fixing to know it more. I put on their video to come. This is the video. So with that, I'm going to play some music, and you can make all the comments you want for a bit, and then I'm going to get off this thing and get rolling. That's where I'm at. It's been uh, kind of crazy. Uh, just about did a live from jail. It would have been a jailhouse live. Uh, you know, just uh, chilling in the chow line. Show you my tray. <laughs> you know, say, so what are you going to do, right? So, uh, crazy, man. But I didn't do nothing wrong. They make you a criminal, man. You know, you ain't even done nothing. So, yeah, sounds crazy. Yeah, you're a criminal just for being in a place at the same time. You can't even, you can't even be a truck driver and be in a place. Because you have already broken all the laws of humanity. One minute, human one minute, the country wants to give you a medal of honor. The next minute, they want to put you in Leavenworth. It's, there's, there is no in-between. It's bipolar as hell. And it's because of these companies. And, you know, man, it's just, I'm past it. I'm for real past it. So, try to play this again, and we'll just chill with some music. We ain't going to worry about them. I made my point, and there's a lot more of that video to come. And, uh... Like I said, I play the. I'm gonna put the whole thing. I'm gonna put all three pieces together, where I talk to other dude and all that. And um, no worries, man. They can try to cause me trouble. They could try to hold me down. I ain't worried about it, man. Look, I'm Cherokee. Like I say, we've been hated for a long time. But it's gonna make me. Like I said, it, it'll it'll make you upset. It will make you mad. 
because you're like, how dare they? You know, we're the ones that bring them everything. When they go to Walmart, they want everything on the shelf, right? And yet they want to, you know, let's see. Is this thing even hooked up? I think it is. Man, I got to put that on the back again. So, uh, let's see, base, negative. I'm going to go as negative as I can on that right and rear. And then, there we go. So let's play this. Did it come unhooked? I don't even know. Man. I can't hear it over the over the Bluetooth here. Maybe I turn this one off. That's what I just did here, I think. See settings. That. Bluetooth. Make sure it's connected. It's just crazy to be me, I guess. That's not playing over my radio now. Let's try this again. Man. Get my Bluetooth going here. Maybe it worked. It says connected. Now let's do the music. Nope, that's. Oh no, this one. Here we go. We'll try this again. Man, people, I appreciate y'all showing up and showing out. Because, man, there we go. Okay. Let's see what we got now on the comments here. And then, uh, oh, it wasn't the speakers. No, I did. I'm sitting here messing with this thing. It made me mad again. And I'm just sitting here. It didn't really, I wasn't even all that mad the first time. I was just mad afterwards. But it wasn't right. But I turned off the Bluetooth on that phone. I was sitting here fiddling with it. So. Yeah. Glad you caught up with me too, man. So now we're good. Now that I got all that mess out of the way, now we're good. Expect the rest of the other video to follow. I'll put it up in all three pieces. All together in one if I can. Or I'll put them out as all three. I'm sorry, but I'll make y'all watch three different little videos. But it'll show them what's going on with it. And... Man, they trying, but they ain't got me yet. You know, I ain't, <laughs> it's not like I'm a criminal. It's not like they make you feel like the devil. Uh, that's why I was gonna say too. Listen, I've been listening to Frenchie and Red, this new channel, and they're kind of funny. You should check them out. But I'm gonna say this, Frenchie and Red, if y'all are listening, I think next Sunday, since since I'm the devil now and I'm I guess possessed I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to be uh, have a what what they do man when, when they do an exorcism might have to perform an exorcism at church next Sunday there on the French and red channel so if I come in there and you know oh lord now that stuff starts that's what's up with that they don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> it might need, if I'm that bad golly call the freaking everybody call the law I'm surprised they didn't drop in helicopters. That's ridiculous. So, but the other pilot was not happy about it. I can assure you of that. And they're like, they should not have treated you that way. I'm like, yeah, I'm just trying to find out why they, you know. And I talked to the security guard at the other place at the TA. He says, man, he says they're probably just all amped up because they just dealt with something else. Because they're dealing with people that come on the lot because they're dealing with this and that there's a razor fence in front of me and i even showed it and it's like electrified it's a it's a fence and on the other side it looks like a, a kill bar a k bar a kill a kill rail big kill rail because there's a row of concertina wire a row of concertina wire and a row of concertina wire on, on a completely different electric fence that's about three feet inside on the other side of a you know chain link fence that's kind of tall so they know there's stuff going on and they're trying to keep it 
you know, keep the riffraff down. And I get it, they might be amped up, but I'm a truck driver. You come up my truck, man, I'm the one person I done took every drug test known to man. I probably swallowed GPS pills. They probably got three or four of them. They done, you know, shot me with a shot at some time and nanotechnology in me. They got GPS on the truck, GPS on the trailer. They got GPS on your cell phone. They got, look, I'm a safe stop when a cop stops me because they know that they done put me through the ringer for everything. So why would they be so amped up with me when I'm just sitting in my truck? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what are y'all talking about? You know, they said, I, I guess I did not recognize the authority of a tired, nasty, sleeveless, ripped up, pulled on your shirt collar, make it look like a French collar, nasty, too long pink shirt with cut off jogging pants with some tired ass shoes on that ain't even laced up and no socks having walk up to me bang on my truck ask for money person nothing against him but dude you need to dress the part if you're going you need to, he need to come correct and i even shook the hand of the one dude i says thank you for coming correct now i shook his hand i says look i said i'm going to back up i'm gonna move that's not no problem but i will go over there and wait on the police to show up and i did they never did so there you go you know um, that was a little call, but let me see here. Oh, you like to swallow GPS pills? Yeah, you never know, man. You never know, you know. So maybe it was measles, mumps, rubella, uh, tetanus, GPS. Maybe they got the new five shot. In, I don't know, man. Just saying, man. Let him sing. Craziness, man. Yeah, so I've been dealing with it. But I ain't gonna let one person get me down. I ain't gonna let the five people that tried to gang up on me get me down. You're not gonna get me down. It's gonna make me a little bit upset because I'm like, what is the deal with the world? We're the ones that bring them everything they need automatically. You know, guilty till proven innocent. Dangerous till proven not. A problem till the police show up. That's how they wanna do it, you know. Anyway, so, JD, put something up, man. Do a video. Do something awesome. Make the world a better place. You know what I mean? So they shaking us down for money. So anyways, to everybody that's a truck driver out there, um, I appreciate you coming by. I appreciate you supporting my channel and what I do. I hated even bringing y'all this because I try to make good, you know, not necessarily great videos, but tell good things about trucking and try to lift it up and try to teach you how to work on your ride so you keep rolling it, you know, and you're not stuck like Chuck. But then there's this kind of mess. And uh, evidently, I mean, fuel's high, we're doing the best we can, and then they want to hit us for more money. It's about revenue. It's just like some of the DOT mess they do. It's revenue. It's about revenue. So idle air is broke, is a joke, and they try to turn us upside down and shake us for the coins in our pocket. I'm boycotting the hell out some idle air. They can keep every idle and every air, and they keep the open air ones. They can, I don't care if they pump oxygen in the place and call it fresh air. I'm not interested. Not at all. They done, they done burned that bridge. That bridge is gone. I got no interest. They can give me a lifetime supply of that shit. I'm keeping. Not interested. You cannot treat somebody like that. Just not right. So, that's your boy out of there. That's your guy. So, enjoy the fruits of your labor. And I'm telling my people, and I don't think they want to meet him either. There you go. It is what it is. 
you know. Um, get y'all some uniforms. You know what I'm saying? Quit being cheap. We know you're broke. We know you're going out of business. But either go on, get getting home, or get some uniforms. That's what's up. No worries. You know, tighten up. So, and JD, I'm glad you did show up, man. I, I ain't heard from you in a bit. Horsefly, all y'all, man. Thank you, everybody that showed up. And just know it's going on. Because you'll park somewhere and think, oh, I got me a good parking spot. You'll be out of hours. You'll be stuck on that computer log, and they will hit you for that $25 or whatever they're trying to charge, $12, $15, $30. They don't care anymore. It ain't even about a set rate. They're all over the place with rates. Some places be $3, some places be whatever. Shoot. I'm parked in a mud pit right now. Last thing I did was wipe down my truck and clean my rims, and I'm cool with that. I don't even care. It's places you could film the moon landing where I'm at. It's got craters that deep. It's probably where they film the moon landing. I don't even care. You want to see? I'll give you a little, a little something. See if I can. Oh, I got to turn this whole camera. It's all sideways and twisted. And that's my angel right there. Likely. Some undercover. Appreciate you. Let's see. Then the iPad set up to. Oh, wait. You got. Hold on. What we got here? With the way YouTube is acting, I had to switch everything. Oh, I'll be opening up some D Live, man. I ain't even started to start. And I got a whole nother channel I set up, too, man. I got a backup channel I've been working on. When they shut me down and wanted to block me from having my live. They did the wrong thing. You should see that playlist. You want to know the truth about everything that you should never, should, well, never been told. Should have been told, never was. Things that the world don't teach you and you'll never learn in school. They attacked our own soldiers. They did this and that. I got stuff coming. Man, you don't even know. Look up bonus huts. Bonus, the, the bonus march. Anyway, all kinds of stuff. And that's what my great uncles taught me. They were Cherokee. But yeah, check out my mud pit. You know what I'm saying? I could go out there and go full wheeling. Look at that. That's that's lake trucking stuff. I got an island coming too. They're not stopping us, people. They can't stop us. <laughs> you know? Right. Just like the, the red, I mean the red army. Just like the South China Sea that they built the island down there for China. And just like the united arab emirates built one in the shape of a palm tree we're building truck and stuff island it's happening y'all know we already got some people that's gonna be in high places in it we're gonna get economic aid we're gonna have the navy helping us out and it's gonna be in the shape of an 18 wheeler south of the key west between key west though pointing towards guantanamo and ain't, ain't no penalty box down there so don't mess around down there because for real you go straight to get mo we got four strikes you're right four strikes you're out policy same as here on this channel. So, <clears throat> anyway, I appreciate everybody showing up. I'm going to get off this thing real quick Um, in, a, in just a sec here. But let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, and you put, what about Twitch? Yeah, I'm learning about that Twitch. You can, oh, hold tight. What about Twitch? You can live stream on there. I'm, I'm looking at doing the Twitch. I'm looking at doing the Google thing. Here come Batman. Okay, look, you never know. Anybody can show up. Anybody can show up on Trucker Stuff. That's Batman. He said, what's up? So, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to have that DLive, uh, all of that, and a website to boot, and I'm going to set up and build an app uh, to alert truckers of what's going on with weather, that anything that closes a bridge or a road or a problem, anything. You know, <coughs> let's see, trying to remain at numbs too. So really changed everything. We'll talk to you soon about it all. Yeah. Take care, brother. Yeah, man. So here's what I got for you, people. I appreciate you showing up. I appreciate you supporting what I'm doing. Really, I guess I'm supporting you guys because I'm telling y'all what's going on. But I appreciate your support of the channel and what I'm doing by showing up and uh, sharing it and whatever. I, you ain't got to share this one. Trust me. I'm going to share it myself put it up there i'm gonna send it right to them out of there y'all suck that's what i got for you that's all i got for you 
Um, and then, uh, let's see. Uh, pilot, y'all got to work on some stuff, but I'm sending it to you. Y'all need to work on some stuff. Maybe I need to kick them out of there because they're not doing right on your property. They're leasing, and I know what's up with that. So, yeah, y'all going to work on that. There's going to be some things worked on. So, out of there, if you lose your little spot, you should have never messed with me. Next, I will say this. I appreciate y'all coming by. I ain't going to kick nobody out. Everybody's welcome to stay. Look, you can lay down on the floorboard and go kick nobody out and we'll throw a blanket on you. You know what I mean? Um, so, uh, but if you get a whole bunch of people in here, it might get tight. And for real, this is not the biggest truck in the world. I mean, I got some room in my side boxes. Side boxes is a penalty box. So from now on, side boxes, if you're bad, you got to go to side box. So I'm going to zoom back out of this for a bit. Um, try to get set back up the way it ought to be. Look, people, they're messing with us. Uh, we're going to be okay. We're going to get past everything. Things are going to work out. And, uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to get down the road. They, um, they did a number. And they were laughing whenever that guy handed me the phone and I was off camera and he had called Pilot and got off the phone with who he was on the phone with and handed me the phone and and I was on the phone when he got up there and they were being all loud and Pilot hung up on me. And, and I said, they hung up and they want to laugh at me. That's fine. They was laughing then. Who's laughing now? You know what I mean? Yeah, so go on and act a fool. I'll video it. I'll make you famous. So I got that video. I got three pieces of different ones. I'm going to put them together, except for where it cut off and then the time when I was on the phone and that kind of stuff. But that's all right. It's enough of it. And you've seen the one big head and then the other dude, and you've seen how they acted. So Shannon Blair, be safe out there. Keep between the lines. Yeah, I appreciate it, brother. I will. I will. It's all good. We got somebody mud. Check it out. I will show you that. Ah, you missed it. He went through that puddle pretty deep. So, yeah, uh, that's how it goes. Let me zoom back out so I ain't getting him too much there. <clears throat> ain't trying to make him famous. Um, yeah, so I guess that's all I got for you for today. This concludes this episode of I Almost Went to Jail and they play in Adler and trying to shake people down for money. And we'll catch you on the next one. So y'all stay safe. I'm getting off this thing.